First of all, thank you for being here. It just speaks volumes to uh, see how many people one life can touch. Let's pray for just a second. Lord, give me the words to lift up your name that you may draw all men unto you. In Jesus' name, amen. Remember, this is a celebration of life. Because Jackie is not dead the way you would imagine. Two realities, like Pastor John has said. But right now, she's more alive than all of us together put together in this room. She's just at an alternate location. Right now, she knows fully the things that we're having trouble to comprehend. Now, can I take this off and cruise a little? When I was single, I was positive. I knew God had a perfect wife for me, but I was positive it was going to be some somebody about this tall. <laughs> and when I met Jackie, I, I actually said to myself, wow, they come in my size. <laughs> Most of you know the public side of Jackie. Jackie. But I got to know her and share her private side. At home, Jackie was always singing and worshiping. And if, if I said a few words of a song, just in an expression or something, 15 minutes later, she was the, how did I used to say it? The musical melody kleptomaniac. We'd be driving somewhere in the car and... 15 minutes later, she'd be singing the song I had just mentioned three or, the, three or four of the words from. And I'd say to her, do you know what you're singing? Well, yeah. Well, do you know why you're singing it? Well, it just popped in my mind. I said, no, you, you stole the melody because I mentioned the words to that song. And Jackie more than anything else was about the gospel of Jesus Christ. I cannot tell you the hundreds of times, and I'm not exaggerating, as God is my witness, that we prayed that her position in Congress was not to be a position for her or I to get a big head, but that it would be used of the gospel to reach thousands of lives. We prayed that while the door of Congress was open for her, that those thousands would be touched. Her smile, joy, peace, laugh are all rooted in her deep faith in God. Jackie loves, oh, I'm also mixed up in that tense thing. Jackie loves the United States of America. She, we, her and I, we also love and pray for Israel. My Bible says, God will bless those who bless Israel. And she'd want that to be known today. And Jackie and I want to continue to receive the blessings of God. So I'll continue to bless Israel. Jackie uh, loves me dearly. But here's a small list of the things that she loved. She loved riding on her cool chopper bicycle that looked like a Harley Davidson with her, 
with her fists hanging from the monkey, what do you call it, the ape hangers. <laughs> she loved pontooning. As Pastor John already said, she loved uh, palm trees. She loved privacy. She did so much flying with Congress that she was happy to stay at home under our fake palm tree, and it was private enough in our backyard that we could swim, and the world didn't know, and it was just wonderful. And she enjoyed kicking around in that pool. She also loved our two dogs. We're double income, no kids, two dogs. <laughs> the dink thing doesn't work out anymore. I don't know what that works. She loved catching bass. And she loved darkening up her farmer's tan. Uh, Jackie, all of you know, she was very prompt. Uh, and uh, she would always say, if you're not 10 minutes early, you're late. And the last thing I have here to share is uh, one thing that Jackie lacked was patience. Now, that was because her mind ran faster than what anybody could go to accomplish the things that she came up with. But uh, she lacked patience. She didn't like it when we said it. <laughs> she didn't like to wait for anything. And I think her uh, impatience has been proved out today as she just had to beat us all to heaven. At this time, it's my honor and privilege to introduce the governor of the great state of Indiana, Governor Eric Holcomb.